improve your game the physio way. A step ahead physiotherapy will host a workshop to help golfers get the best swing possible. Uh, here with a preview of what you can learn and giving us some tips here on the set this evening is Christine, this morning rather, it's Christine Gibbs, a physiotherapist. Christine, I heard just last week in my first major round, major, you notice I use the word major, <laughs> uh, that golf is the game of disappointment. How will you help people negate some of that disappointment uh, through your workshop? But you know, it can be disappointing, but it keeps you coming back. You want to you want to improve. <laughs> <laughs> you want to improve next weekend. My ego was bruised. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people sit at a desk all day, and right. they don't realize that sitting like this all day long can affect your golf swing. Mm -hmm. um, you can't get your head on the ball if you sit with a really tight neck. Right. Your hip flexors get tight. Your back gets tight. So you can't get a full back swing if you sit at a desk and get tight all day long. So if you increase that flexibility, there is hope for you. <laughs> so I'll blame my lack of flexibility. Uh, for the re as the reason why my golf game is so terrible. It definitely is one of the influencing factors, yes. So who is this workshop reaching out to? Not just golfers, uh, weekend warriors? Basically anybody that's ever swung a club. Right. <laughs> um, so it doesn't have to be In a good way or a bad way? Yes, well, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully at a golf ball. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, but no, it, it's addressing anybody that wants to improve their game. Right. Um, whether you're a 25 handicap or a scratch golfer, anybody can benefit from getting a little bit of strength and a little bit of flexibility into their body. So you're going to demonstrate for us this morning some of the tips that you, you can use uh, with improving your golf game, right? Sure. Um, so you sit at a desk all day right. and your hip flexors get tight, right. so you can't rotate your hips. Right. Your back gets tight, so you can't rotate. Mm -hmm. There's a direct correlation between club head speed and how far the ball carries. Right. So the faster you swing the club, the farther the ball is going to go. Right. That doesn't mean you have to muscle it. That means you That's need my problem. I yeah. try to hit it too hard. Well, yeah. <laughs> then you lose all control, and it's right. in the rough, in the water. Uh, so kind of like in the road. Uh, you well, have to go get it. <laughs> wherever you're aiming. <laughs> so what you need to do is increase your flexibility. Right. So if you can get the club back farther, mm -hmm. so you're back all the way, right and you rotate more, the club's going to come back farther. I'm not going to swing. I won't hit you. So, so will these uh, tips on balance and opt optimum performance help you outside of golf in terms of your everyday life? Oh, absolutely. Right. You'll be much more comfortable if your hip flexors aren't stuck like this from sitting at a desk. Mm -hmm. So when you swing a golf club, you need your hips to rotate, and on the follow-through, you need them to, to lead forward. So if those are stuck all day long, it'll help your golf swing, mm -hmm. but also just in walking or running. Any, any, any athletic activity. Because several of us run often. Uh, I'm not an avid golfer by any stretch of the imagination, mm -hmm. but I was thinking after my terrible round last week that I need to master golf, right? Mm -hmm. So will these, can I do these tips that you'll learn at the workshop mm -hmm. on a daily basis on my own? Oh, absolutely. Right. I have a segment in the workshop where there's just videos of stretches and right. strengthening activities that you can do at home. Right. Um, they're actually in a golf cart. I, I went to the golf course and, and videotaped it on a golf cart, so right. you can do it at the golf course or you can do them at home as well. How, is, how important is it to equip people with tools to help them uh, to get through the tough times, uh, even as a weekend warrior? Mm -hmm. How important is it to give them the tools of physiotherapy to help them uh, advance their, their game, not just with golf, but in life? Well, if you're stiff, you're going to be you're gonna be miserable. Like how I feel you, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just with anything, if, if your body doesn't ever stretch out, right. if you're just stuck in that 90 degree desk position mm -hmm. all day long, your joints get stiff and right. they get tight and sore. People don't realize that sitting like this all day long, you can stand up and it stretches those muscles and it hurts. It can cause headaches. So if you release those muscles and you get full length in them, right. it can cause, solve a lot of pain problems. Uh, any other things, any other tips you can show us this morning that I, can, I could use when I sneak on the golf course? <laughs> Uh, maybe not so much tips, but maybe just reinforce the fact that you need to stretch. Um, right. If your neck is stuck like this, you can't get your head in the ball. I, don't th I think I'll blame so it on <laughs> sitting at my desk and not stretching was the reason I played terribly last week and yesterday. That's so the reason well. I see most of my patients. They, they <laughs> sit too long and they haven't done anything per se, right. but they haven't, they haven't, they just sat. Um, so if you can't get your head on the ball, right. you're going to do this. And that's a horrible golf position. I think that was my position all last week. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wasn't there, Kubeta. I'm <laughs> giving you so. a, an accurate account. I was there. <laughs> so you just need, to, need to, to get loose. Your shoulders need to be loose as well. Right. Shoulders get tight and forward. Right. Um, and again, that comes with working out as well. A mm -hmm. lot of these guys at the gym get really muscle bound in the, in the front of their shoulders. Right. So then they go and swing and they just can't get that flexibility. Give me some details about the workshop to get the golfers and weekend warriors out mm -hmm. to a step ahead. Well, it's a free workshop right. at a step at Physio and Governor's Square. Right. It's at 6 o'clock tomorrow night, um, and it's free. So anybody is welcome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to improve your golf game, whether you just want to learn how to get out of the desk position and just stretch. I have lots of stretches and, and some strengthening activities as well. Mm -hmm. um, my goal is to have people come and say, you know, Christine, I cannot get my elbow straight on my backswing. Right. And explain to them why they can't, whether it's flexibility or strength. 
Um, so there's lots of tools that I can give people um, for more specific details once they're there and have a, a specific question about their golf swing or anything else pertaining to sports or a, sitting at a desk. A good thing, a good thing, equipping people with tools. A lot of them are fathers who have to pick up the babies mm -hmm. all day long, mm -hmm. and, and those the natural day-to-day -day living, mm -hmm. along with the working and. Uh, other things affect your golf game and affect your life. So Christina and her sure. team at A Step Ahead will be giving you guys some assistance tomorrow evening. A free workshop. Mm -hmm. Head up to Governor's Square and support just to improve your golf game. You may see me there swinging in the background. Hopefully I'll get a lot better. No Tiger Woods at all, Christine. Thanks so much for joining us here. <laughs> Thank you very much. My all pleasure. Day break. It's been fun. After the break, get a taste of Cayman's Restaurant Week. The smells of the food are really stifling us here in the studio so join us to join us after the break with delisa she'll be getting a taste of what's to come stay with us